All right, Shalom. We want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakadash. We'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings unto the elect. All right, we had a quick lesson we want to go into. The name of it is going, is going to be called, This is a Spiritual Book for Spiritual Men. And the book, of course, we're talking about the, the Holy Bible. The, the Bible is a spiritual book, and it's for a, a spiritual man, not a, not a, a carnal man. And what got me to, uh, to think of this, this title is that if you're carnal and you're not spiritual or growing in the spirit, then you're not going to make it in this truth, man. You're not going to make it, and the scriptures back that up. So we just gonna go ahead and uh, get into it. Lord willing, this is uh, edifying. Come on. So go ahead with that. Uh, the first, first scripture. Corinthians. Okay. This is uh, First Corinthians chapter three and verse one. It says, "And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Hamashiach Yahusha." Go ahead and read to us. Uh, Come on. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. Right, and what I'm doing, I'm just using this scripture to make a point, but I don't want to, I'm not going to go all into the history of the Church of Corinth and what they was going through and the reason why Paul had made this statement to the, to the Church of Corinth. But I do want to, what I want to pull from this scripture is that when you first come into this truth, of course we are, we're, we're babes. And we're really not spiritual. You're uh, you're really carnal. You're coming out of a, a, a carnal. You're coming from a carnal mindset. Mm -hmm. You're coming uh, out of an indoctrinated mindset. Yeah. You know. And you just don't the the, the spiritual uh, switch don't just flip as soon as <laughs> you uh, awoke to the fact that you're a Hebrew Israelite and you're just supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments and learn the uh, the the understanding of this book Come on. okay the spiritual flip uh, i'm sorry switch just don't flip on like that it don't it don't work like that you have to grow in this thing that's why peter said uh desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby grow to what become a spiritual man of yahweh by shim yahweh shot so that is a process you know we all at one point when we first come into this thing we really just uh, humble regurgitators Come or humble uh, parrots as I heard a brother <laughs> say you know and then as we the longer we be in it we start in this truth we start to grow in understanding and you're supposed to over over time you're supposed to become spiritual if you're of the elect if you're not of the elect man of the hopeful elect you, you're gonna be that same old nigga that you was but you're just gonna put on an act and that act is only going to take you so far in this truth, man. Yep. You're going to be shiftless. You're not going to shift from gear one and make it to the fifth gear, man. You're going to be stuck in gear one, grinding the hell out of that, that, that first gear, not even pushing the clutch down, man. You're going to be doing the same. You're going to have the same mind frame, man. Right. The scriptures talk about moving from glory to glory. That's right. You know? And, uh... Yeah, going from glory to glory. Mm -hmm. And I can attest, and I'm sure all the, all the brothers that's in this truth, the sincere brothers that's, that's real, can attest that they can see the change from when they first came in to where they are now. Right. I can even see, I can go back and look at <laughs> eight, eight years. treasure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can look at our camp and I can look at other camps and see how we've all grown uh, in the spirit, man. Yeah. But some guys ain't ain't growing. Right. They still that same still in that 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 they they still in the first stage or in the first in, like the brother said in the first gift. Shiftless. Not growing in the spirit, man. What? Growing in the under, the understanding of this word, man. And if you're a carnal mind, how are you gonna mix with a spiritual book? If you remain that carnal man, how are you gonna uh uh allow the spirit to come into into a carnal mind? Right. You know, it's not going to work. So let, we, let's move on to the to the next scripture. Okay, come on. It's the book of Romans, 
chapter 8. In verse 6, it says, For to be carnally minded is death. To be carnally minded is death. Is that the one? Where's the one that said it is em to have a carnal mind is enmity? Is it in there? Oh, uh, just the next oh, verse. Come, okay, uh -huh. okay. Go ahead. Start up again. Okay. So like it, brother. This is Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death. To be carnally minded is death. So when we were in the world, in that Gentile state of mind, we was we were we were dead. Mm -hmm. We were catering on to death. Mm -hmm. But we were supposed to come up out of that mindset, that carnal mindset, that wasn't gonna happen overnight. But as you uh, <coughs> over time remain in this truth, you're supposed to shake that old man off, that carnal nature off, and become spiritual, man. Yep. You know, and it shouldn't take a lot, a, a bunch of time, man. Right. You know, now it's, it, of course it's gonna take time for you to grow in in the spirit and get uh, uh, built up, built up to the deep in the deepness of the uh, mm -hmm. understanding of the scriptures. You know, but uh, you can go ahead. Uh. Con. It says Romans eight and six. For to be carnally minded is death. Right. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. How are you spiritually minded? Thinking not according to this world. See, cornerly minded is you can't leave off from the the understanding of this world. You can't break away from uh, the indoctrination of this world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which do what? I all that shit cater to your flesh. Exactly. You it, know. It caters. It caters to your flesh. That's why a lot of these different uh, these other groups they can't uh, get the understanding because they can't. Get they can't separate their indoctrin what they was indoctrinated with from this truth. Yep, you know. That's why you see them making rap videos. You know, burgers, fringes, and burgers, or whatever the hell. You know, cause all that stuff is carnal, man. You know. Yep, meaning you still blinded by the God of this world, which yep. is who Esau. Yep. If you read Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, the fourth verse. It tells you that uh -huh. that the ones that can't get this truth is because they blinded by the. Uh, but matter of fact, I'm gonna read it real quick. The okay. Second Corinthians two. I'm sorry, four and four, and it reads. Well, I start at three. It says, "But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is." Who is the image of Yahweh should shine on to them. Right. Unless that happens. <laughs> Unless that light shine on you. Right. You can forget it, man. Yep. And it's saying, and that's telling you right there. That's a good scripture that can link. You could link it up with uh, Isaiah 6 and 9. Because if the most high don't, don't want everybody to get this. That's right. And it's not for everybody. That's right. And the most high will allow some men to come into the troops, so, so to speak. And to fall out, to be an example. an example. That's right. You know? And we've seen many of them. Cats, you thought you that you just figured they had a front row seat on the chariot because they knew all the scriptures. They knew all the breakdowns. They knew the, uh, the meaning of every word, but yet lacked one thing, spirituality. Being man. spiritual, man. As much the, the 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 more knowledge you can regurgitate, don't make you spiritual. <laughs> yeah, Just that's get not stuck on you know. That. Understanding what this is all about, you know, this truth, standing in this word, man, operating not on the vibration of this world, but operating in the vibration of the understanding of these scriptures is how you have the spiritual mind. Yep. By thinking according to the understanding of the Bible, that's man. right. Okay. And, and over time, that understanding is going to grow. Yep. It's going to grow. Yep. You got it, brother. Come on. It's uh, back in Romans 8 and uh, 6 again. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to the... To so if you remain in a carnal mind, mind frame, and you proclaiming that you're in this truth, you're going to eventually spaz out. Yeah. No, uh, fizz out, I mean. Mm-hmm. Okay? Oh, and, oh. and then dissipate... Yeah, yeah, you're going to spaz out and fizz out. 
and you're gonna dissipate back into to darkness. Yep. Like that the Jay-Z had that album called Fade Fade to Black. Fade to Black. You're gonna yep. fade back into the, the darkness. You know? Go ahead, Art. It says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Is life and peace. Yeah. To be spiritually minded. Yeah. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Heavenly Father. Right. The carnal mind is enmity with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So if you if you're in that spirit of carnality, then you're an enemy of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And you're you you you're gonna die. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna be put to death, man. Cause you worried about you mind in the flesh. Your 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 heart is set on pleasing your flesh, man. Okay. Right. The word carnal go back to the word carne, which means the flesh, man. That's it. And you going that's your concern, not your spiritual growth, but your but the things that pertain to your flesh, man. Then, like I mentioned, cats that make rap videos and stuff of that nature. Uh, right. That's pertaining to the flesh because why? You want to be somebody. You want to be seen in Israel. Okay? The Lord didn't say go and make rap videos to wake up the elect, man. Okay? Nope. The that's spirit quickening. So nice. <laughs> the spirit quickening. That's right. And br and make it alive. Yeah. Okay? Not the flesh. The no. flesh. Because it's telling you that. In that. Matter of fact, <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> Let's get the scripture. Uh, John six and six Come three. On. This is Saint John chapter six and verse sixty three. It is the spirit that quickeneth; the flesh profited nothing. And what's the spirit? The spirit is these scriptures. That's it. That that's not deep, man. It say the flesh profited nothing. So us putting together a, a, a rap video and doing a, a, a underground mix CD on Israel, that don't profit shit, man. Right. It might put some some shep, some some FRNs in your pocket, but what good what what good is it that you gain the world and lose your soul, man? Let's go back. It go, man. Look, Yahweh Shai is life. Yes. Esau is death. The God of this world is dead. Esau is the God of this world. And they tell you that in Habakkuk, uh, the second chapter, he said he desires, he, he enlarges his desire as hell and is as dead. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Yeah. So you remain in his indoctrination. He, he put all, he downloaded the information into your, into your mind. <laughs> into your, your, you know? uh, yeah, your computer. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So again, uh, St. John chapter 6 and verse 63, it said, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. Esau teaches you, Salaki, brother. Mm -hmm. Esau and his whole setup teaches you to be concerned with the flesh. What pleases the flesh? You know? Right. Eating, oh. drinking, things you want to see, you want to feel. The holes. You know? All that shit, man. Look, this 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 would come first, man. You gotta put all that shit on the back burner, man. Okay? That's it. You gotta put spiritual things first, man. If you're spiritual. But if exactly. you're not spiritual, you will be concerned with the, 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 the lust of your flesh, man. Okay? It says the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Like the brother brought out the scriptures and they are life. Remember to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that link right up, man. That's it. Okay. So you got to be spiritually minded, man. If, if you, if you love life, if you love your how about shim yawa shai. If you want to live. Yeah. If you want, you want to live, get in the spirit, man. Pray that, say that. Yeah, pray for it, man. Pray. Fast if you got to, man. You know? That's right. All right, you can go on to the, the, the next to the scripture. Romans. Oh, oh well, yeah, finish, finish the Romans out. Mm -hmm. This is Romans 8. I'm going to start back at 6. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the heavenly father. For, mm -hmm. Hey, bro, may I say something, mm -hmm. too? Just speaking on, 
you know, the flesh and the spirit, man, that's why it is good to fast because you are killing the flesh. You deny and you de Yeah, you're denying the flesh and you, you're uh, pretty much you're fasting to, to be, have a better spiritual connection with yes. the Most High, to become more spiritual, you know. And it, it don't, that don't necessarily mean just because you fasting all the time. That yeah, it's just going. You got to be a man of the most high. That's you it. know what I'm saying? That's it. And if you are a man of, of uh, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, then of course, when you do your fast, it will uh, it'll build up your, your, it'll build up your spirit. You, mm -hmm. you deny your flesh and you want to build your spirit up. That's right. So fasting is a, a good way to do that. Yeah. You know? Because when you... Cause really the sentiment of this world is just to eat all the fucking time, consume yep. shit loads of meat, <sighs> and that's really what it is, meat and bread. Yep, that's why you, you you look at the average American, and they health is garbage, man. You know, America is, is leading the way in obesity. Okay. Right. What's the sin? What's the the food? What's the American foods? Hamburgers, hot dogs, shit. pizza. Hamburger, hot dogs, and pizza, bro. Which all, more than likely, are gonna come with what additive? Cheese. And then base the base of it all is meat. Meat. <laughs> you know, flesh. Corner. Corner. I was watching a, a a thing. I believe it was on uh uh the French news, and they was talking about countries where cheese is exported from. And uh, they were just saying, no, 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 it wasn't that. It was uh, the 10 things that most foreign foreigners are, uh, it make them scratch their head about Americans. And one thing was countries that export cheese and that are known for fine cheeses, that's not a staple of their diet. You come over here, everything right, got right, right. damn cheese on it. That's just hearing like with fine yeah, wines yes. and things like that. That just, you know, might be something added to a a a to a meal, you know, on the side a slice of cheese with some wine and you know some 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 crackers or you know something like that. Right over here, motherfuckers eat cheese and cookies, cheese and pie, cheese all the time, cheese, cheese, cheese. cheese. It's just like we brought out. This society promotes death, man. Right. The god of this society pushes and promotes death. Which is what catering to the to your flesh, man. Why you think McDonald's is is booming? Okay, all this fast food is booming because all that cater to your flesh. Okay, it's fast and convenient. You ain't got time to to prepare a meal and put your soul into it. Okay, that's it. But um, I go back. To Romans 8 uh, and 7, it says, Because the corner mind is enmity against the Heavenly Father. Meaning, it's, it's, it's in, enmity means enemy. In, in, enemy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Against the Heavenly Father. For it is not subject to the law of the Heavenly Father. Neither indeed can be. Verse yep. 8. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Heavenly Father. <laughs> You cannot. That's a short line that do a heavy cutting, Jack. You cannot please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh It's enmity with the Heavenly Father. So if that's that's the spirit you in, you better pray to get out of it. Right. Right. Alright, uh you can go to the what you had, uh the second Corinthian? Uh, I mean, First Corinthians two. Let's see. The natural uh, oh. man receive it, uh, or whatever you, you the scripture that you had. Okay, yeah. Uh, First Corinthians two, and I started. Uh, I started verse uh, verse uh, eleven. Come. No, no, no. I started uh, Salakia. I started verse 10. This is sec, uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 10. It says, But the Heavenly Father had revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of the Heavenly Father. 
For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, the things of the heavenly Father knoweth no man, but the spirit of the heavenly Father. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. See, because the spirit of the world is what? It's carnal. Yes, right. It caters to the flesh. There's nothing spiritual about this world. And the, the, when the scripture, the, we read about the scripture, or you read the scripture, Ephesians 6, starting around the 12th verse, where it talk about uh, how to, how to uh, armor yourself yeah. against uh, the devil. Yep, the wiles of this. You know, deceiver. and it tells you, it tells you that uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, yep. but against uh, principalities. Prin principalities, which is talking about demons, yep. and really uh, higher up demons. Yeah, and uh, it tells you, it talks about spiritual wickedness in that verse, and That's we also right. in high places. Yeah, that spiritual wickedness that Esau cast out here in his kingdom, which is his witchcraft, it is really it caters to carnal, uh, carnal things. Yep. He does his witchcraft to promote carnalism. <laughs> if that's a word. <laughs> yeah. If that's no. a word. But I, yeah, but you yeah, understand. I, yeah. What did Satan tempt the Lord with, man? Things that would cater to what? His flesh. He said you can have all these kingdoms, you can have food. Those things uh, cater to your flesh. That's what he came with. Right. But the Lord resisted him. With the spirit, the <laughs> word. <laughs> he said this, this: we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He said so. So Yahushai fought yeah. Satan with with the understanding of these scriptures. Cause Satan came with the scripture. The Lord hit him back with the scriptures. And man, yep. this this ain't. It's not that difficult, man. If you're spiritual, okay. Uh, right. Back in 1 Corinthians 2 In uh, 10 it says But the heavenly father had revealed them Unto us by the spirit For the spirit searches all things Yea the deep things of the heavenly father For what man knoweth the things of a man Save the spirit of man Which is in him Even so the things of the heavenly father Knoweth no man but the spirit of the heavenly father Now we have received Not the spirit of the world But the spirit of which is of the heavenly father that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the heavenly father which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the holy spirit teacheth comparing spiritual things with spiritual but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the heavenly father for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Okay? And that was the point, you know, in verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Heavenly Father. Man. Right. And, in, you know, certain. You got certain uh, men that are humble in this thing and, and, and maybe men of the Lord and they, they got to pray. They may need to pray or uh, do whatever they need to do, man. Pray fast to, to get into the spirit to, to uh, that the most high and do them with to where they can understand these scriptures mm -hmm. and get on a deeper level in these scriptures, man. Spiritual growth. Then you got other guys that are just Fucking around, man. That's why they, the Apostle Tall went so hard on that video, man. Through the spirit. That really should scare the shit out of you, man. To get your ass on fire. And if, if, if that don't sit right with you, the Apostle, what he said? Through the spirit? It's like he said, man. Take a fucking hike. And we mean that with all sincerity, man. Take a fucking hike, man. Go away. Hey, that's it, man. Well, you got anything else, bro? Uh -uh. So that that's pretty much it, man. Uh, if you're not in the spirit and if you're not growing in the spirit, uh, and of course, we're not going to be in the spirit, but we're supposed to be the basis. We're supposed to be spiritual. We're not going to be in the spirit 
uh, uh, 24 seven, 24 seven, uh, our 20, yeah, 24 hours of a, of a day in three, 365 days in a year. Okay. But we are supposed to be spiritual men. Yeah. I say at the same time, we're supposed to be spiritual men. Okay. When you first come into this thing, you're not just going to boom, be spiritual. Okay. You're going to grow in the understanding. You're going to become a spiritual man. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're a man of the Lord. If not, you're just gonna be a nigga putting on an act. Yeah. Until you get found out through yeah. the through the spirit, and 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 and, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is gonna get you up out of here, yeah. man. And we pray, you know, you should pray that the 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 prayer that or the psalm that that David. That's right. Uh, pray in a uh, Psalm fifty one and I think seven or eleven. Let me check check that. I think it's Psalm fifty one and uh, eleven. Yeah, Psalm fifty one yes, and, yeah. and eleven. You know, so of course, you know, you know, you don't want to get the big head, and and oh, I'm in the spirit, and I'm I'm over this, I'm I'm on a higher level in the spirit than this man. That's not the spirit to be nah. in. But you definitely want to pray. You want to uh, be confident that you are in the spirit, right? And you want to pray that the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh don't take the spirit from you. That's right. You know. If you if you if you a corner man, and and you faking the funk man, and you really just a corner guy that's putting on the act of a, to be a, to of being a spiritual man, the Most High is gonna fucking kill you, man. Yeah. I don't want to be that guy that get killed. The Most High hate hypocrites, and that's a hypocrite is an actor, man. You're not being sincere. You just going through the motions, like the apostle said. You just show up, man. Show up and show out. Yeah, show up and show out. And then go back to the same shit. To the corner world. Yeah. To the corner mind. Yeah. Okay? Okay, you could, you, we, yeah, that's it, man. It's a lot. I was going to say, I was going to go on and keep talking, but that, the point's been made. Uh, Lord willing, this, this lesson was edifying. Uh, once again, we want to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, by Shum, Yahweh Shai, by Shum, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit. Peace and blessings unto the elect. The elect, Shalom. Shalom.